G'day all, it's Brother Blonde, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a motorbike or motorcycle vlog, but I thought, oh, I'd better do one just before the end of the year. Today's the 31st of December. And uh, firstly, uh, sorry, no, it's not, it's the 30th of December. One more day to go, I'm a day ahead of myself. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to firstly wish everybody a very happy new year and uh, hope and pray that 2009 is a wonderful year for you and blessed and that all your dreams, hopes, aspirations, goals and all that come to pass, provided they're good and all that sort of stuff. And um, what I wanted to do is yet another little uh, training video. You've probably seen enough motorcycle training videos. So what I'm going to do is pull up over on the left here and start. I, I don't want to make this a, a long boring one. Um, now, I don't know how many of you know or realize that with a motorbike when you're changing gears, when you're changing up, you don't need the clutch. Uh, when I ride my trail bike and I'm changing gears up, I never ever use the clutch, mainly because I'm standing up and it's all too hard to reach down and grab it. And it's only just recently that I've started to do clutchless gear changes on the uh, on the ER6 or the Ninja. So what I thought I'd do is uh, go for a bit of a ride and just show you how you can actually quite easily, comfortably, smoothly and uh, satisfyingly change gears without the clutch. Now I'm going to try and angle the camera so you can see there my throttle hand and then sometimes over there to my clutch hand to show you that I'm not actually using the clutch and I'll call the gears as I change. I've also got my ram mount and I'm going to try and put the camera on there to get an angle down at my throttle hand but um, that may not work depending on the angle of everything. So I'm just going to wait for this car to go. Um, Alrighty, here we go. So I'm currently in first, obviously you need the clutch to let out. Now mainly, here we go. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now, I, I, <laughs> I was actually looking at the road then, I wasn't actually noticing if my camera was facing my um, throttle hand. So I'll just get over this little hill, I'll do it again. The secret to it is um, to get your, when you re release the throttle, you only do it uh, for a, a split second, quicker than you would if you were using the clutch. And um, the, the, the trick is when you, when you return the throttle um, after you've changed gears, you've got to try and put it in the same position it was in just before you released it so you don't get a jerk. I know, some people call me a jerk. <laughs> Very funny. So I'll just wait for these couple of cars to go past again and we'll have another go. Here we go. Letting the clutch out. First gear. Okay, now I'm using the... Uh, I'm looking ahead, but... Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. You don't have to change that rapidly, but um, I'm up to the speed limit already, so I thought I would. So now I'm behind me. Let's slow down. And it's satisfying if you can get it just right and it feels like you're not actually changing gears because you're doing it so rapidly there's virtually no deceleration and no change in the acceleration now if you get it wrong that's where we change from being clutchless to clutchless <laughs> I think you, you, you get my point on that one so let me just show you here if, uh, if, if it was all a bit quick when it happened. My throttle movement, without, I'm not actually going to move the throttle while I'm here, but is like that. Very, very quick. Very quick. That's, that's all you need to do. And the movement on this hand, of course, is zero. <laughs> Alright, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try and stick the, the camera on this thing and see if uh, I can get a 
a sideways shot just for a little interesting thing and, and then do a picture in picture thing if it doesn't work well then that's the end of the video and um, I'll see you all next year so I hope that's um, interesting yeah uh, the other thing is of course when you're changing down gears you need the clutch and if you're um, just moving slowly in traffic um, I still use the clutch because then you're, you're not uh, accelerating you're just changing gears to make it easier on the engine or whatever then yeah I'll use the clutch and just do a, a slower gear change so um, we'll either see how this thing goes or I'll catch you next time see you all